Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and hmm, this is a video on my personal YouTube channel. I want to try to keep this somewhat brief. I want to talk about Adobe's acquisition of Frame.io and how it is now playing into its ecosystem with the Creative Cloud. Uh, I know some of you are Creative Cloud users and use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro as well as Adobe After Effects. Well, now you have integration with Frame.io, which is a great tool to work with collaboration. Uh, this is not something that's necessarily in my realm of things. You know, when I create my content here for my YouTube channel, it's just me working on it. I don't have a team. Even when it comes down to shooting my podcast at Twit, Hands-On Photography, that's still just me shooting it and we do it all together right there in the studio. There's no sending it off, working on it with teams and stuff. But there's something about this frame IO stuff that I think would be beneficial for my personal business. You know, if I want to work on a project with a client and I could share the preview with them and there's some nice little tools in there and it's just looks like it's going to be a lot easier to do that versus the other way that I've been doing it. When Okay, so here I'm in Premiere Pro and let me just switch this over here on the right because this is a bit of a uh, change in the layout. Normally you had these little tabs at the top for your different workspaces. And this is my default view for Premiere. I have my own custom workspace set up and this is just a, a time, timeline and a sequence that I've been working on, um, again, for part of my show. But I figured I could use this as an example to show off what's going on with Frame.io. So let's say you got this sequence squared away, you've rendered it out and you ran it through and hey, yeah, I think this will look okay. Let me send this over for review to a client or send it over to a teammate or whatever and let them tweak it, touch it up, what have you. It's pretty easy. You got a couple ways you can do it. So over here in the upper left in the menu bar, you have the Windows menu. So just click that and you'll see uh, review with frame IO. So you can click that and it'll open up this new interface. All right. And it comes with a couple different demo projects already in there, because again, this is all brand new and I just launched a couple days ago at the time of this recording and I've already started a project. So, you know what? I can just delete this here. Let's do that. Yeah. We'll go ahead and delete that. Cause yes, I tried this out before I did this video, but anyway, this is the interface for it. Um, and you literally just hit upload and tell it the different parameters that you want to go into, um, the sharing process, if you will, or review process, if you will. So that's one way to access it. Or so I'm gonna close this window. Now <clears throat> you can go to the different panel and go to the, the workspace panel, the, yeah, not workspace panel, the review panel. So you scroll down and there it is review. And it's going to pop up a very similar interface, except this time you still have your timeline right here. And this isn't a floating window anymore. But again, it's all the same stuff and I need to cough. Hold on a second. OK, aren't you glad I didn't cough in your ear? But anyway, yeah, you still get the same um, setup here with just everything is now docked inside of the interface of Premiere Pro. All right, so if you notice here in my timeline down at the bottom, I have set up an in and out point because this is all that I'm worried about. Yes, I have a full timeline down here that's several minutes long or several seconds long or whatever, but I'm just worried about this particular in and out point. All right, so let's see, how can I go about just sharing that? So I click on this upload option and it'll give me a couple of different, you know, things here. So you got files, bin, Yada, 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 yada. Okay, so let's just say active sequence like that. And we can name it. So I'm going to call this one skate one like that. And then it gives you this preset here. And you got a couple of different in here um, for audio only and web view and so forth. Of course, they're going to want to see it in a high quality, even though this will be viewed in a web interface. So just go ahead and put it in 1080 like that. Now the range, this is what I like. It, it allows me to select whatever range I want from said sequence that I'm working on. And I like that there's an option for in out point. So let's just do the in and out. And then renders to scratch this. I've already set that up. I just made a little directory. And what's going to happen next is it will open up Adobe Media Encoder right here 
to handle doing um, the actual render out for this upload. So, and if you have this but this box checked here, it'll allow you to do versioning just in case this review process goes over and over and over and you have a couple of different versions that you can notate for your client while they're reviewing it. So let's go ahead and hit upload and it'll start doing its thing inside of Adobe Media Encoder. Okay, and it's pretty quick. And Media Encoder has already done it and it's fi finished that quickly. And the upload goes and it's, yeah, it's pretty quick folks. And also the upload process is going to depend on the size of your file. It's going to depend on the, depend on the speed of your internet. So your mileage may vary from a performance standpoint. All right. So now what's next? So if you take a look at this, you have this little menu option showing on the different um, clips that you shared. And I can scroll up through this and give myself a little preview like that, which is really, really cool. And if I hit menu items, the menu item here, I can download it again. I can open the file up if I want to um, change the status of it as far as uh, being reviewed and so on and so forth, delete it, what have you. It's pretty straightforward, right? Okay. Then you got share. So I click one time there and I click share. And you say share for review and it's going to think about it and then it's going to give you a link right there and again this is just all through the frame io uh, back in and frame io is going to be free for people that already subscribe to the creative cloud now it's a free version of it there's certain bells and whistles that you're not going to get but for the most part it's you'll be just fine with the free stuff so i'm going to copy that link hit done now I'm going to open up a browser here. So let's see, I got a browser open over here. So let me pull that over into the screen and I want to paste that link into the browser. All right. And there it is. And it's, it's just pretty straightforward. So I play it through. It's got the audio and it's a nice high quality 1080p for the web. Very nice. So what's next? The client is looking through this thing and saying, you know what? Um, I don't know about this. Let's say I wish this was a little bit more tighter on the on the uh, skateboard here. This is a little too wide. So the client can come in here and add notes if they want to. So you look at this interface here on the bottom. I can minimize Premiere for now and we'll maximize this. There we go. And you look at this interface how here on the bottom and you can just type in Hey, make this a tight shot like that. And then even better, you can make little markups on it. So there's this paintbrush here. And if I want to just like do a particular area, I can click that little square icon and just say, Hey, let's make this tighter. Of course, I don't want to do that. because that makes no sense. So undo that. But I could say I want this tighter like that or even put arrows in so I can do this little arrow like that like that what have you and just undo if it doesn't come out quite to your liking like that it's very slick and it puts the time code on it so then you have those in there and you just hit send and hey blah 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 blah, blah. Aunt Pruitt knows you left this comment and you just It'll, it'll notify me um, as the editor that, hey, they made a note on this here project. I really, really dig this. And I can also do this myself as far as sending it out to the client um, before um, they even review it, just some things that I might want to note. But this stuff is so daggum slick and it's so easy to use. And it's all right here inside of a web interface. If I want to download download the actual video, I can, but it's so much easier to just view it in the web. You don't have to worry about files on the, on the machine and you can make these notes and markups all right here. And it's going to be much better on the communication side and collaboration side of things. So I think that's pretty daggum slick, but that is the latest integration for Adobe in their creative cloud suite. 
That's the Frame.io integration um, as they acquired them last year. I think it was back in August 2021 when acquisition went through. Um, but yeah, I dig this. Have you tried it out? Are you still using Premiere? I'm slowly moving to uh, DaVinci Resolve. I'm not going to really let Premiere go because I, I still like it. So I go back and forth between Premiere and DaVinci Resolve. But I like this idea right here. This is going to be very, very helpful on future projects for me. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you're using Premiere, if you've done your upgrade, and if you find any use in this particular update. All right. I'm Ant Pruitt. I will catch y'all next time. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button because y'all know that's what YouTube wants you to do anyway. All right. Y'all take it easy. Peace.